That is correct. Yeah, there's no you're you don't have the problems that we're trying to avoid. So yeah, I think part, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it was just taste or I'm not sure. I, I, I really don't know why. The decrease of protein in my diet, but to make sure that I have all the building blocks I need to stay healthy, repair. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chin, co-founder of the Kidney Disease Solution kidney uh, coach and of course our supplements uh, Kygenesis and today I'm joined by Dr. Rick Cohen. So Dr. Rick Cohen we've not had on our podcast before. I was blessed to meet him a month or so ago and I was so impressed by his knowledge that I said you've got to come on our podcast. So he's a a physician and functional medicine doctor with over 20 years of experience in the medical field. And he actually founded the company and um, called Ignite Longevity, which provides personalized assessments and integrative interventions to help people take a comprehensive approach to living longer and healthier lives. So he has a real focus on uh, longevity and inside the longevity um, space as well. He has dedicated his career to the treatment and prevention of lifestyle and metabolic related diseases. Hence why he has some knowledge and skills when it comes to kidney disease. His goal is to help his patients unlock the keys to achieving optimal metabolic health. So anyone in any stage of kidney disease can take these. Yes, I don't see any problem with with any of it. Great. So we don't have the nitrophosphate issue when we take an essential amino acid profile. And then people are taking keto analog. So what we would say in stage five, very low protein diet, keto analogs. But you could take this alongside... So you're not technically on a low protein diet because you're getting your essential amino acids. You're just reduced it through foods to reduce the nitrogen phosphate issue. You could put this and your keto analogs on top. No problem. That is correct. Yeah. There's no, you're, you don't have the problems that we're trying to avoid, you know, or yeah, that's basically, you know, it doesn't present that. And I think part, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know why I think it was just, taste or i'm not sure i i really don't know why because that was my thing is like why has my renal dietitian and why has my doctor not told me that this would be a great way to combat the decrease of protein in my diet but to make sure that i have all the building blocks i need to stay healthy repair and keep my immune system functioning well right i guess i would say how much have they told you about all those other things that you could do to keep your immune system <laughs> health and you know it's just another one of the pieces you know that fit into all the things that we can do and this is a simple one you know whether there's clotho and and more in-depth individual you know genetic metabolic proteomic analysis so it's just not in the standard of care currently right so why why did my mother just go to the hospital after she broke her femur and they're feeding her orange juice and white bread right like for breakfast with cereal like really yeah i know <laughs> right you know 82 year old woman you know it's like who has some metabolic issues that's what they're giving her you yeah know, it's... yeah okay so that's been so good so what i'm hearing for and again tell me if i've got this wrong if you're out there with kidney disease and thinking protein is your enemy it's not you need essential amino acids really the problem with protein be it plant or animal and they've got different nuances about what's in them and and whether they're complete and the nitrogen really is the nitrogen phosphate issues by using something like an amino acid um, formula that dr rick's um dr rick cohen's company has put together which is essential aminos right and i'll put the link in below if people want to have a look at this um, is that you bypass all of those issues. You can supplement and get extra um, protein in there that's not going to throw out your nitrogen or phosphate levels, so it's not going to hurt the kidneys. And if anything, you're giving yourself the essential amino acids that are required to repair, rebuild. If you've got a metabolic disorder, elevated blood pressure, all of those sort of things, if anything, having some essential amino acids in there are only going to be your friend to actually help the body repair itself. Did I hear all of that correctly? Right. Uh, to mention is like for a lot of people, you know, it sort of blunts if you don't have enough protein, um, you tend to feel hungry a lot. Yeah, that's and, true. You know, so, some people do okay with vegetable, beans, and fiber. My, I, I don't, but if you use the amino acids, it triggers sort of an immune response, immune response, triggers a hormonal response, you know, to sort of blunt 
blunt hunger. So, and that's, you know, one of the benefits of eating when you're eating a meal is you eat your protein first or eat your, eat your vegetables and your protein and then have your carbohydrates afterwards because you're slowing their absorption as opposed to carbohydrate first, which then triggers insulin and, I, and then you get hungry. Or, you know, how many times have someone, like if you've eaten a meal and you're going out and like, you have a taste of some dessert, and it's like you weren't hungry and all of a sudden you just finished it, right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You always have room for dessert. So true. We'll get Dr. Cohen back to do those conversations. But anything you want to know in the meantime, drop in the comments below. Remember to hit subscribe and like. That way you'll get notified when we do another podcast with this amazing man. Thank you for being part of our community. Wow. And Dr. Cohen, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And your knowledge. And I can't wait to have more conversations with you. Cool. Thank you, Fiona. No worries. Thanks, everybody.